Hello, this is my screencast for my ATGS project. My candidate number is 006. First of all, I want to point out some of the features I implemented into my client's website. First of all is the title logo. The title logo is basically a, a, an image I created in a free raster software called paint.net uh, using also a CSS code to uh, using the URL at which the image is, is, is saved in the, in the root file. Uh, then um, I also want to point out that, uh, for example, every time you click on the title logo, it resends you back to, to it. For example, if I click on this page, if I click back on the title logo, it sends me back to the, to the home page, the index page. Uh, second thing that I want to point out is, that, is the content, the, this content box is on, on the website. Uh, how I did this is, as you can see, a very nice professional layout. That was my, as you can see on Criteria B, that my client specified this. Uh, here on the borders, you can see a shadow given to the boxes. Also, um, how I created this box is is separating two codes. First, I created um, this border that it's um, below the the this content page. So first, I created this one, so it's a light blue. It's a dark blue color and then a light blue color. Um, another feature is the navigation. As you can see, every time you hover over a button, it changes the the color. Um, firstly, how I created this the uh, this code, uh, I created both images. The first one is when you have the button normal. Uh, as you can see here, it doesn't have any color, and when you hover over it, it changes to another color. Um, as a specifying criteria B, my client wanted an interactive menu bar, so I decided to do a drop menu. As you can see, it's a very consistent layout. Uh, how I did this was a combination of hover over and UL and LI uh, CSS tags and HTML codes. Uh, as you can see, it's very professional looking, and as you go along the drop down menu, if you click on, on any link, it redirects you right back to the to correct page. Um, the fourth thing I want to point out is the background. Uh, as specified my, by, my criteria, by my client on Criteria B, he wanted a, a blue background design. Um, as you can see, uh, how I created this was about a CSS code uh, using also the uh, as a background image uh, stating the URL and also the HTML code uh, class clearfix. Uh, what I mean by this is that the background always stays in the center of the image. So, for example, here, as you can see, it's not it's a a, a very light color in the center, and they are very dark. As you can see, it changes also if I click on on this one. The border changes into a darker blue color, but as you go down, the page maintains its color in the center. Also, um. Uh, uh, I want to point out one of the features I also implemented was is a YouTube video. How I did this is go to my client sent me the videos and I embedded the HTML code into my website so it appears here. Um, another thing I want to point out is that as my client specified, he wanted to add uh, audio files. So here they are. Uh, how I did this was uh, using a HTML5 code, although I was using a normal HTML. How I did this was to reconfigure the code and make it um, into two different files for that the browser could support uh, the audio files. Also, uh, I want to point out that the, um, as stated also in my criteria B, uh, my client wanted to use a Google map. He wanted to state it for it to, as, mo as his main problem is the location and communicating between the members of, of the of the church. He wanted an easy way for people to uh, know where the where the church is located, and so that people don't get lost. Uh, also, um, here, uh, as you can see in all the pages. Uh, uh, images. The, how I put the images is a very simple code that it's MG for images and SQR for the uh, link for it and then the the resizes and configuration of its dimensions. The last thing I, uh, I want to point out is that um, uh, about the audio files that as 
not all the web browsers support the same audio file. I had to I had to reconvert the uh, the original audio files sent by my by my client that wasn't an MP3 file. I had to reconvert them into an uh, AUG file so that the other web browsers support them, and you can and all the users that visit the website can access them. This is my complete version of my screencast.